Hi, everybody. Welcome to the NPD uh, podcast for the holiday. Uh, this is a series of podcasts among NPD's tech analysts. Uh, this week, uh, as we kind of come out of November, we have with us uh, Ben Arnold, who's our executive director in the U.S., and as a special treat, we're going to go international this time, and we've got Chris Brugman, our industry analyst from Canada, and Jaime Negrete, our industry analyst from Mexico. So we're going to have a nice international uh, flavor as to what the holiday season looks like so far. Uh, after the first seven weeks, and I'm Steve Baker, I'm the uh, Vice President and Industry Advisor for Technology, and for the first seven weeks or so of uh, the holiday here in the U.S., uh, right now we're still up almost 5% uh, on a revenue basis, uh, which is pretty good. Our forecast was for about uh, 2%. So uh, right now we're looking pretty good. Of course, we now have uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday week uh, staring us in the face in terms of uh, how well those will do. Those will obviously be big uh, determinants as to how well we do uh, for the holiday season. Ben, uh, I know you were out in the stores over the weekend. Um, you've been looking at the data. Give us a couple of points as to what you're seeing happening here in the U.S. Sure. Uh, thanks, Steve. Uh, you know, I've been looking at uh, how November has kind of started off, kind of marking that as the you know, beginning of at least my holiday season. <laughs> And uh, you know, November is starting off pretty similar to how uh, Q4 has begun. Um, you know, looking at total sales, we're at about eight billion dollars, which is seven percent above the three weeks first three weeks of November last year. Um, you know, to your point that I've heard you make about prices, uh, you know, pricing is, is certainly uh, having the impact. ASPs are up eleven percent overall. Um, but you know, when I look at what's happening in some of the product categories, um, you know, I'm seeing growth in those kind of gift areas that we talk about a lot during the holidays. So uh, over the first three weeks, headphones are up 33%. Units are up 10%. You know, we've had some new product announcements there. VR is doing really well, right? The Oculus Quest 2, uh, what a great gift item. Uh, revenue is up 67%. So, so uh, when we look at some of these categories, uh, to me they're, they're trending in the right direction. The, you know, the only challenge here, as, as we've talked about, is uh, you know, TVs and pricing and how big of a piece holiday um, is for TVs. And you know, looking at uh, sort of the trend in TVs, we kind of see the, the you know, higher average selling price trend um, looking at you know ASPs are up 53% uh, over last year, and so that's you know uh, having an impact on on uh, units. But uh, what's growing in TV, of course, are the premium categories, big screens. OLED is up 33% so far in units uh, for November. So you know my view on the holiday this year, the gift categories are trending in the right direction. Uh, you know, there's some challenges, of course, with TV, and TV is a you know a very important part of the holiday. Um, but I think the the onus will really be kind of in middle December as we get closer to the to the you know Christmas holiday. You know, how well can we keep up the momentum going forward? Couldn't agree more. I think momentum is a big thing in uh, in holiday sales. So, what's the momentum look like in Canada, Chris? Yeah, in Canada, I think um, I think the momentum might be losing a little bit of steam up here. Actually, um, our our year-to-date October numbers, uh, dollars are up five percent for the year. But looking at the first few weeks of November, uh, dollars are up two percent, so not quite as strong as our year-to-date numbers. And a lot of this is really because we got lucky with. Uh, some new MacBooks, which have really drove the PC market and, and brought us that growth in November. Uh, similar to what Ben is seeing, though, the gifting categories are looking pretty good, um, with headphone sales being up, smartwatches are doing great, um, streaming speakers is, uh, is even seeing some pretty good growth um, on, the, on the wired side of things. 
Uh, but similar to the U.S., TVs are a challenge. Um, you know, for the most, for many weeks now, uh, throughout the summer, notebook PCs have been our top dollar uh, category in Canada. And uh, now that we're heading into the prime TV season, we've got the uh, the flip has happened. And so TVs, this most recent week, week three in November, um, they became the uh, number one revenue driver for tech in Canada. Unfortunately, sales were down versus last year, about 21%. Um, notebooks still seeing that strong growth. And uh, we just got a, some, some preliminary Black Friday results. And uh, it looks like it's a little bit soft compared to last year. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say probably TVs have something to do with that. Um, and uh, we, what we saw was a 8% uh, decline in dollars with an 11% drop in units. ASP isn't up that much. Uh, it's only up 3% over last year. So it kind of feels like things are a little bit soft. Um, because the first half of the year was so good, I think we're still going to end the year uh, in positive territory. Uh, December doesn't have to be particularly strong in order for that to happen, but I think we might be seeing softness uh, from now until the end of the holidays. Thanks, Chris. Let's hope we can uh, pick up the pace a little bit uh, in Canada and, and deliver some, some a little bit better revenue numbers. Now's the time uh, to do that, given some of the given mo many consumers' willingness uh, to spend a little bit more uh, this year, given all the talk about higher prices. Um, so we go from the uh, from north of the border to south of the border. Uh, Jaime, what's things uh, looking like in Mexico so far this uh, fourth quarter? Thank you, Steve. Here, yeah, here in Mexico, we already are seeing some results of um, our uh, equivalent to Black Friday. This happened or began in uh, second second week of November. So similarly to what is happening in Canada, the, the, the sales decreased uh, a little bit in 10% overall. Uh, mainly because of the big categories, color TVs, uh, or LTV TVs, and notebooks decrease overall in this specific season, but they were quite quite strong in terms of sales in the first half of the year, so that's why we don't see a, a lot of uh, strength in these particular categories. But um, talking about the, about the ones that are leading the growth, uh, particularly stereo headphones are growing 36% um, versus last year. Desktop computers also have a similar uh, growth, uh, 36%, as well as some um, very niche categories that seems to be, uh, be, be, be will be leading the growth in Mexico, which are uh, smart watches and uh, three media players, which seems that the, the, the consumers are leaning to these low uh, ticket categories uh, to, to, to purchase and to prepare their gifts for this specific season. All right. So uh, let's finish up. I'm um, going to ask everybody, tell me what the biggest surprise in terms of product uh, that's doing well or if it's doing poorly, um, if you rather go that direction. Uh, what's the number one product so far that you've been – uh, surprised about the performance. Uh, Jaime? Uh, definitely uh, uh, stream media players. Uh, along the year are performing uh, extremely, well, extremely well here in Mexico with a road rate of uh, around 50% over, over the year and even in this specific season. So that's uh, well, the one surprise in, uh, here in Mexico. All right. Chris? Yeah, I was looking at the, the most recent week and actually something jumped out at me. It's, it's kind of fun. Um, and I think a lot of people are going to be seeing these in their stockings this year. And uh, what I noticed was uh, these ring lights, flash ring lights uh, that are popular with the vloggers and the bloggers uh, that go with digital cameras or mobile phones. We're seeing uh, a lot of growth there. And, uh, you know, the ASP is cheap. It's a great, uh, a great gifting category. Um, ASP that week was 37 bucks. And, you know, you can buy them just about everywhere from tech retailers to grocery retailers. So I have a sneaking suspicion there's going to be uh, many ring lights happening this Christmas. Cool, cool. I know I could use a little, uh, shed a little light on my workstation. Uh, so, hey, Ben, take us home. Uh, well, you know, I've got to go with audio on this one. And um, I'm into sound bars lately. And, you know, I'm looking at sales of sound bars over the last couple of weeks. 
uh, you know, there's a 3% revenue growth, uh, which is uh, actually pretty outstanding because it's uh, off of comparisons of 44% growth from last year uh, and really sturdy uh, unit growth in the category. There's a, a lot of products there to buy. You've got things like Dolby Atmos, which change the, you know, the listening experience when you're watching uh, movies and TV shows on your, on your big screen TV. So I'm going to go with sound bars. I'm, I'm a big sound bar guy. All right. Yeah, sound bars are a great, uh, great opportunity. So um, with that, we're going to close out our uh, little podcast here. I uh, hope you all got some really good information uh, over the last 10 minutes or so. I uh, want to remind everybody that we're going to be in Las Vegas for CES in person. Uh, send us an email. Give us a call. Let us know if you want to catch up. Uh, if you're not going to be in Vegas, NPD is going to do its uh, virtual uh, CES as well. Uh, that will start on January 4th. And emails with registration uh, options are going to go out sometime next week. So with that, we want to thank everybody uh, for listening, and let's hope the rest of the holiday uh, is as good as what we've seen so far. Thanks a lot.